Well, hello and welcome back to the Sketch Academy channel. I'm the Sketch Monkey, and in today's video, we are going to sketch using two different techniques of sketching. One is going to be similar to the uh, sketching techniques with boxes that we did in the previous video. And then the next one is going to be when you feel a bit more warmed up and you feel more confident in your sketching, then I'm going to show you a technique that uh, I think is way more fun. I don't really sketch using boxes or any uh, simple geometries anymore because I use something I call cloud sketching. And if you're a student of mine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So first of all, let's just sketch this truck here. And as you can see, I started with a big box in uh, which which is going to build up the body of the car of of the truck and then you have a second box which is going to create the greenhouse with the glass and the door and all of that just sticking out of this main box that is the main body so once we have those two volumes down on paper that's when we can start to kind of uh get into the fun stuff, which is, of course, to design the car and to put the details on the car or on the truck in this case. And we can't really do that if the proportions are off, because if the proportions are off, that is such a fundamental thing that no matter how much we sketch on it, it's not going to, it, something is always going to look off. And it's so annoying when, when you get to the point, when you think you have the proportions right, and the perspective and then you start sketching and adding details and the more you add the the, the more wrong it seems and that is <laughs> one of those times when the proportion probably is off when you feel like something uh, there you don't you can't really put your finger on what it is usually it has to do with proportions so what i'm doing here uh just added some details with a big pen after the uh pr the proportions as we talked about and the perspective is done we can add some markers to this, this as well. I'm using a marker paper here because I feel like I, I at some point, I kind of need to, need to start using my marker pad that I've had for two or three years. I have this one and then I have another one that I haven't opened yet because I, some, uh, I guess I prefer to sketch on just regular print paper. Not sure why, it's just easily accessible. It's just there a pile of print paper so that's usually what I just grab and sketch but you know I got to use these uh, kind of uh, fancy papers at some point so I'm using marker paper right here the difference is if you haven't used marker paper before if you're new to this whole thing called sketching or with markers uh, the difference is really that uh, marker paper feels a little bit more glossy. It feels like sketching on uh, a slippery surface, uh, while print paper is more rough. And I actually prefer the roughness of the print paper because it feels like it, uh, it, actually, it actually feels like it sucks up the ink from the marker a lot better than a marker paper does. That's probably not true, but that's just what, what it feels like. And you get this, it just feels, nicer to sketch on regular print paper, I think. But you can try both and see for yourself. I guess that's the easiest way to find out which one you prefer. Okay, so here we go with the cloud sketching. So as you can see, the first uh, truck that we sketched up there, that was kind of uh, school book style of sketching. Very, uh, yeah, very boxy, I guess we would say. And this is going to be more of a loose approach, a quicker and more dirty approach. So you put down a big ellipse and this is going to uh, determine your perspective of the sketch. And once you have that big ellipse, you can start to add the wheels for the sketch. And once you have those two things put down on paper, you have the ellipse, and you have the wheels of the car, or the, the yeah, in this case, this car you're sketching. Once you have those two down on paper, that will determine the perspective and the type of car you're sketching, since usually the uh, wheelbase of a car is kind of telling what kind of car it is. So the, the, the closer you have the wheels, the, the, maybe you're sketching a hatchback or a small truck, and the farther 
away they are, the, the longer the wheelbase. And maybe you're sketching an SUV or a bigger truck or a mini bus or something like that. But those are the two techniques uh, that I just quickly wanted to show you here in this in this video and uh, I think you should try both I think the best way probably would be to start with box sketching so just put down a bunch of boxes and combine a bunch of boxes together and create and build up your product like that and this is doesn't of course just apply to cars it, it can apply to any type of product that you want to sketch but I think that's that would be the easiest way to start is to start well first of all get Get a sheet of paper and just put down a bunch of boxes everywhere until you get that right in perspective. And don't move ahead before you got that down. And once you got that down, you can start to combine different boxes. Create a big box, small box in the middle and boom, you have a truck like we did up there. And then once you feel comfortable with that, you can go ahead and start with this cloud sketching, which is just making a big blob and inside of this blob you're going to start to add the big volumes and the big features of the the product that you're sketching and in this case you make a big blob and since we're sketching a car the big features are going to be of course first of all the wheels and the wheel base so that's what we want to put out first i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did if it helped you out in some way, please share it with a friend. I'm sure they will thank you for it. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today. I will see you in the next video. Take care.